What's good? It's your boy Fanon. Welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please hit the bell icon and click all notifications so that you can be notified of when we release more videos. And also, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you to everybody that uh, helps out the channel through Venmo, through Super Chat, and through watching the ad, watching the videos themselves. I know I put ads in the videos, uh, and that's to help raise fun. That's how we generate revenue for the cause that the channel is meant to support. Uh, now, this is some bad news. Uh, for uh, the Errol Spence Mikey Garcia fight it sounds as if it might be tabled for the foreseeable future for at least tabled until 2019 and that was reported by Steve Kim on Boxing Scene having quoted what was said by Steven Espinosa so let me go through that then I will provide my thoughts on the matter uh, with the heavyweight bout between WBC titleist Deontay Wilder and challenger Tyson Fury on the horizon for the fall. It could push back the proposed matchup between IBF welterweight champion Errol Spence and four division belt holder Mikey Garcia. The bottom line is that for Showtime, it just may not be feasible to have two pay-per-view events so close together before the close of 2018. The head of Showtime Sports explained on Tuesday, it's an interesting dilemma because once you start getting close to the holidays, you start to get nervous with people's attention, not to mention their wallets, whether that money and attention is being diverted for the holidays. Garcia made it clear in the run up to his July 28th bout versus Robert Easter in what was a lightweight unification bout that he would like to face Spence at 147 pounds. But the calendar and the boxing schedule may keep this particular bout from happening this year because Wilder Fury will most likely take place in mid-November in Las Vegas. As it stands now, quoting Espinoza, it looks like any pay-per-view that would be in December would be the third of three and sandwiched after Deontay Wilder and Fury and before the holidays. It's not advantage. It's not most advantageous at that point. So does that mean early 2019 for Garcia or Spence? I'm not sure yet, says Espinoza. But Errol and Mikey really want to get a fight before the end of the year. But I also realize that they're both smart enough to realize you don't force something just on the desire to go at a certain point on the calendar. On pay-per-view, you have to do it when the market is right. Uh, yeah, and that's absolutely true, clearly. And that would be the third pay-per-view event in the United States uh, in this time of the year. The first, obviously, being Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin in September. Then you skip a month. And then if Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury is in November, then you'll be right back with another pay-per-view in December. And, you know, this is kind of this is kind of hard for me because, first of all, I'm a big fan of Errol Spence Jr. I got a ton of respect for Mikey Garcia, and I definitely, definitely, definitely want to see these young men get all the money they can possibly get for boxing matches. And there's a certain... I mean, there's obviously when you have a pay-per-view event in the United States or when you have a paper, you bring a lot more revenue to the table than you do if it's on a subscription network for free or, you know, not for free, but comes with the subscription or whether it's on an ESPN where you get the channel through your basic, you know, cable subscription. Um, so, you know, I understand these guys wanted to be pay-per-view and honestly for a fight like Mikey Garcia, uh, Errol Spence Jr. versus Mikey Garcia, you know, that's something I would be willing to pay. I, that's something I would be willing to pay for. It, the interesting thing in for this, though, is that if it's not in December, if you get it pushed back into September, if you get it pushed back into January and February, right, or, you know, January, February, March time frame, 
That's going to be really interesting because that would allow for enough time for Sean Porter, the winner of Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, to be available to face Errol Spence Jr. It also begs the question of if they want to make this on pay-per-view, and I'm sure these guys, neither one of these guys are going to want them about to that magnitude to happen on regular showtime and taking, they know these guys ain't AJ. <laughs> They're not, hopefully, they're not going to take, I mean, from a business perspective, from a fan perspective, you know, if it's not on pay-per-view, it saves me money. But from their perspective, and I got to appreciate their perspective, um, it, you know, it wouldn't make sense for for them to take a big old pay cut just to make sure the bout happens in December. So that would lead it to not be Errol Spence's next bout or Mikey Garcia's next bout. If it's not Mikey Garcia's next bout, then that means that Mikey Garcia very well may have to face Richard Comey because Richard Comey is his IBF mandatory challenger. And I don't think that Mikey Garcia is going to want to go inactive from, I think, what did he fight in July? All the way through January. So you're talking about six, seven months without a bout. Errol Spence Jr. will more than likely want to have another one before that time as well in the in probably the November, December time frame, which would push that pay-per-view bout out into the March, March time frame. And anything can happen uh, in that amount of time. So, you know, we'll see what, what's happening. I was actually growing kind of fond of the perspective of that ha- the fight happening, though I did start having a little feeling about, you know, look, they should be trying to announce this bout pretty soon. Um, I had heard rumors that it might be on the undercard for Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, but even man, that, I mean, that would be a heck of a pay-per-view. I would definitely pay for that pay-per-view to have those bouts packed uh, back to back. But those are all four boxers, uh, definitely three boxers in the United States that none of them want to be, you know, on the undercard. And it doesn't really matter what you call when you call a co-main event, you know, you have the main event and you have a co-main event, you know, that's, you know, that's some polite language. But if you're the co-main event, you're on the undercard. If you're not the last bout of the evening, you're on the undercard. And if Tyson and when Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder in November, uh, as much as I love Errol Spence and respect, uh, respect Mikey Garcia, that would be the second fight. That'd be the second to last fight of the evening. So, you know, that was going to, that would wind up being on the undercard. And that's just, that's just not reasonable. So, you know, Hey man, I know these guys really want that fight, but it seems as if it's going to be pushed out to, uh, to the March time frame. because if you're going to have a pay-per-view in that month, right. Then, I mean, in 2019, like the typical time for them are the May time frame, right? That's the Mayweather, the magic Mayweather months are, uh, May and now the Canelo time frame is May around Cinco de Mayo and in September but they could also do they, I mean they could do other time times as well because I mean the biggest pay-per-view second biggest pay-per-view ever was in August of last year that being um, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor I think that was the second week of August so you know maybe that'll wind up in the in the January, February time frame, because you're not going to want to come. Actually, you're not going to want to come in in January, according to the logic of uh, Stephen Espinosa, because people just got done spending all their money, all the Christmas gifts. They're just recovering. You need to at least give the dudes a, you know, a paycheck or two. So like just to go through the timing of it, it's July now. I think Errol Spence fought in June. So, I mean, it's August now. He fought in June, so you want to. If he wants to get another one in, maybe he could be fighting in the October time frame or the the October time frame, right? Um, yeah, I would suspect it could be around. But then again, what do you have? September, October? No, it's not. So it's going to be in the December. It might be probably wind up being in the December time frame, but maybe uh, Mikey Garcia fighting in the same month or like a week before Errol Spence fights. 
and they kind of lead into that build up for the pay per view, you know, later down the road. But you know, we'll see what happens. I think the real danger for Mikey Garcia, though, is if Mikey Garcia doesn't get this in on a pay per view in December, that that opportunity for that fight might be gone. Because Errol Spence, if Danny Garcia wins, and that's what I was alluding to earlier, if Danny Garcia beats Sean Porter, I don't see why Danny Garcia, Danny Garcia and Errol Spence Jr., man, that's that might be a pay-per-view event as well. And I do believe that Danny Garcia, I mean, his um his fan base is as big as Mikey Garcia. I know Mikey Garcia is a little bit more on an upswing as of late, but you know, it's 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 gonna be intriguing. At the end of the day, I don't really think it matters when the fight's going to happen. I think that um, <laughs> I think Errol Spence is going to beat Mikey Garcia. And also, I wonder if this whole timing conversation and all that might be a nice little way for Mikey Garcia to save face. Because he talked himself up a big, I think he was talking himself up you know, into a major back, uh, you know, major behind whooping. So anyway, it is what it is, and we'll see what happens. And uh, with that, I'm out. Peace.